He volunteered to fight for the Islamic Republic of Iran in the Iran-Iraq War. His father, a leader of Iran's revolution, gave his life for the Islamic Republic when he was killed in a bomb attack. And for four years, he has served as a leading reformist in Iran's parliament. But Iranian authorities have ruled Mahmoud Sadeghi is not qualified to run for re-election in this week's parliamentary vote. I asked what the problem was, and they said my statements, speeches and activity on social media. Their conclusion was that I don't have the proper commitment to the Islamic Republic. To me, this is funny, because from the time I was in my mother's womb, I have given my heart and soul to the revolution. Sanari is among 90 sitting lawmakers and thousands of applicants barred from this year's elections by the Guardian Council. Iran's hardline vetting body. Most are moderates who have pushed for wider freedoms and rapprochement with the West. The Guardian Council spokesman says the vetting process is in accordance with the Constitution. We work within this law's framework. Our job is to implement the law and nothing else. The Guardian Council is not a political club. It doesn't care about people's opinion. The council's decision comes amid escalating tensions with Washington. Analysts say the stage is set for conservatives with anti-U.S. policies to now dominate the government. I think it will affect the Iranian presidential election. The idea that maybe we have to change the policy, maybe if you're too flexible, uh, it's going to backlash. Sadari says he respects the council's decision, but believes the body went beyond its role of merely supervising the vote. The biggest damage is to the system. Our system is a republic, an Islamic republic. It proclaims that it is based on people's expectations, that there will be freedom, that there will be voting rights for people. How voters will react to the disqualifications and what it means for the future of the Islamic Republic will become clearer beginning on election day.